This is wood lime, right? No, the one. Okay, that's not. Mm, if it bites. Yeah. Mm. I'm a very active member in the reptile community, in the reptile hobby. Uh, and when for us reptile people, when we want to lift up, right, we want to talk about all these snakes. Oh, I have this snake, I have that snake. We will go to the pet store and stand in between the aisles. So it's much um, it's not so it's not so nice la. And the original idea was that I could make a place for all the reptile hobbyists to sit and can gather, talk about our interests. But eventually, it turned out that um, even normal people, everyone actually really appreciates all these animals. I really hope that people can see reptiles as also another type of pet that you can keep and love. Because nowadays, many people, right, um, someone coming from a animal science, not an environmental science background myself, people only care about furry animals, cats, dogs. But people always leave out reptiles and snakes. And even though for, let's say, Malaysia, right, Many of our native snakes, native reptiles, native animals are neglected for the furry ones. Yeah, so I hope showing the public how interesting these things are, we can cause them to have a better outlook uh, on reptiles and the less loved animals. Uh. Recently, my friend brought a snake here from this cafe and told me all about it and I thought I wanted to come here and try and buy a snake. I've always been interested in snakes and um, kind of like iguanas, those types of reptiles. But because I moved around a lot, I didn't have the chance to keep them. And usually if you go to like a pet store, you're not really allowed to touch it, right? And I saw from the photos on Instagram that you can like interact with them. So it's like quite a cool experience, I think. <laughs> 